Hi, I'm Kelly Hill Ross and welcome to my show. Uh, this is the very first show that I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing a documentary on my husband, Leonard W. Ross Jr., who unfortunately passed away just recently from cancer. Uh, my husband was very influential and in inventing and going about his business as an entrepreneur back in the 60s and the 70s. And I thought you would like to hear about how he succeeded, what he had to do to make ends meet, and just how he got in business. So um, this is part one of a two-part documentary, and I hope you enjoy it. So sit down and have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or a soft drink, and um, listen and watch to hear what we have to say about Leonard W. Ross, Jr. Leonard W. Ross Jr., a man of integrity and a man who did it his way. He accomplished what a lot of black men could not do back then unless they had access to money, good connections with the good old boys, or a front man. He had neither. He grew up in Annapolis at a time when black men could only get a job as a barber or go into the military. His father, who at the time was in the Navy, could not afford to send him to school because he had six mouths to feed and a wife who did domestic work. Life was hard back then, but Leonard managed to work in the pool hall, rocking tables, worked at a restaurant, a market, and he sold shoes to make ends meet. At the end of the week, he would empty his pockets and give all of his hard-earned money to his mother, who forced him to keep some for himself. The most important thing in his life at that time was he wanted to go to school, but he had no way to get there and his father did not care if he went or not. They lived so far back up in the woods that it was too far to walk. This is what he had to say about his early childhood years. At night, you know, I would take my shoe shine box and go over to the, the pool room and the bars and all the shining shoes to make some money. And on Saturday, I was at the a &P, taking groceries for people, taking them home for them. And, and uh, at different times, I had jobs at the restaurant downtown on Dock Street. I sold shoes on uh, West Street. I worked in the pool room. We had 15 pool tables down on Main Street. And I had a job all the time when I was a teenager. So I didn't have time to hang out with them. And once they uh, knew I didn't have time to hang out with them, they respected that. But they no longer work because everybody's dead. All of them are dead. Okay, so after leaving Annapolis when I was 16, and my father and I never got along too good, so I went to Baltimore and lived with my uncle. And he and I worked in Washington, D.C. for a brick company, Kelly Brickwork, in the Union. And back, back during that time, uh, Union scale was $27 an hour. And that was back in the 60s. So uh, we made real money at that time, we still being a teenager. And after that, my uncle moved to Philly, I stayed in Baltimore, and uh, went to work down Gladding Trucking Company, driving a dump truck. And after driving a dump truck, I went down to Sparrows Point, working for Lightning Company, where I was really big business down there. And after working for Lightning Company, I went into business for myself. I got a small business loan and bought a, bought a tractor and trailer. And I worked that. And my sons graduated high school and I put them in business. Uh, I made them home operators where they bought the truck for me and they paid me like a residual, you know, out of their 
you know, funds to, uh, to pay for the truck. So as of today, which is 19 years later, they're still in the trucking business. I'm out of the trucking business, but uh, due their health, but they're still there. But, uh, that's the contribution I made to them. You know, you find out that they really want to do it, and I just you know, get into it wholeheartedly into it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that hearing about Leonard W. Ross Jr. Um, he really has a story to tell, and I hope you stay tuned. Uh, for the next episode um, to find out more about his challenges uh, in his life. And um, I look forward to having another cup of coffee with you or tea. And um, so stay tuned and be on the lookout for the Kelly Hill Raw Show coming soon. Um, you may find it on Facebook. Um, we also will be on YouTube. And uh, pretty soon we'll have a website for you to go to so you can submit uh, your request if you would like us to do a documentary on your family or if you have an idea. Thank you so much. And until the next time, God bless. Mm -hmm.